Hello people. Today, I will show you how much artifacts is caused by lossless scaling without any interference. And that's thanks to capture card that I using to capture HDMI signal so you can see raw footage straight from frame gen card. All right, we will test three different base FPSs, 40, 60, 120, and with those frame gen to 320 frames per second. Focus on crosshair difference before and after activating frame gen. As you can see, it generates quite a bit of artifacts. That's why I recommend for FPS games to have at least 80 as base FPS. Now, we will test 60 base FPS. and for last 120 frames per second. But I need to lower resolution to 1440p to reach monitor refresh rate of 120 hertz. Cause my capture card limiting base FPS in 4K to 60. Good thing is that capture card don't recognize fake frames as real ones. Otherwise, I wouldn't reach 320 frames per second. Now take a look at another feature of lossless scaling, flow scale. It can greatly reduce amount of visible artifacts on screen. Just look at cursor. One half is solid and other half is like fire and wind. I was made for this. Taking damage, I'm killing you. Reality goes to my room. Thank you. I appreciate the support. Rocket barrage. n'échappe à mon regard. Fucking satellite vector, fam! 
And now most underestimated feature of lossless scaling, max frame latency. It like buffer for your generated FPS. If you don't have set it up high enough, you will experience severe lags and artifacts. Just look at my gameplay. Every 40 seconds, I will raise max frame latency by three points. This is why I always leave max frame latency at 15, so I don't need to deal with it. Personne n'échappe à mon regard. The payload has reached the checkpoint. 